morning everyone. Wow, it's been a busy two weeks after I've left the Kruger National Park. I had to make a stop in Johannesburg and Pretoria to get my LCD screen fixed of my camera as well as some audio problems. So hopefully that is sorted right now. And I also visited some family in Freiburg. Freiburg is a town um, situated in the north northwest province about 200 kilometers west of Klerksdorp and yes I'm on my way to the Khalakhadi I need to be there on the 23rd today is the 21st so I've got two days um, before I need to be there and uh, I'm heading to Van Salesres. Van Salesres is a very very small town in the northern Cape province uh, it's known for its Kalahari landscape extremely beautiful from what I've heard so I can't wait going to spend two days there at a farm called uh, De Vrede Lekker Res which directly translates over to satisfied nice rest so yes looking forward to it it's about 240 kilometers from from Freiburg um, and right now it is extremely extremely hot it's a uh, we're getting towards the end of November so I mean this is uh, this is summer and uh, I just know that uh, the Kalahari as well uh, the temperatures easily easily reach um, <coughs> low 40s to mid 40s so we'll see when we get there but yes up next for Sanzares a nice stopover before the Kalahari So just arrived here at uh, Tefrieda Res uh, campsite. It's situated about 10 kilometers outside of uh, Van Sales Res, the town. And uh, it is so beautiful. It is extremely beautiful. I've never been in the Kalahari before and um, this is it. So what a privilege. But uh, the farmer and his the farmer and his wife that run runs this uh, campsite, they've also got four chalets self-catering. Uh, chalets if I'm not mistaken so uh, that's another option as well if you're not uh, down for camping but let's show you what there's one two three and then four behind my vehicle um, I've already been to the uh, pollution block to check it out it's very neat tidy and clean so can't complain about that um, seems like they've got a nice shower as well um, and then they've got this building here. I guess it's a reception area, but of course this is not a um, a large venue. It's not a big venue. There's not a, not a lot of units or people that come here. So I guess they only open certain times, certain days of the week. I'm not sure. But uh, yes, uh, you can also get some wood here and ice. Um, they they leave it outside. There's the. Actually quite nice they, they place the wood in a in a bathtub and then they've got a fridge outside as well so um, yes you can just uh, you can just get some uh, some ice if needed but um, it is so beautiful it's just very very hot uh, the winds starting to pick up so I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain soon I can see the clouds gathering as well but yes there's no one around um, it's special just take a look at this So yes, 
there you go this is the Kalahari I'm looking forward to the next two days um, and I can't even imagine what what uh, the stars will look like at night time so, uh, so I've only heard good things about stargazing over here so I'll definitely check it out um, so yes just gonna settle in maybe have a nice cold drink first and uh, then see if I can set up camp before the wind starts to, to get any stronger Okay, good morning everyone. Wow, what an unbelievable first night here in Van Sales Rest. Um, had a lovely, lovely night rest. I mean, I mean, how can you can you not if you're surrounded by camel thorn trees and you're just in this beautiful Kalahari landscape. So um, yes, luckily the wind also died down last night, which helped a lot. So I hope you uh, enjoyed the time lapse of the stars because it was something else. Wow, <laughs> can't wait for, for tonight as well. But uh, the plans for today is I'm just going to take it easy here. Um, don't have much plans. Just get everything sorted and ready and charged and organized for, for Kalahari tomorrow morning. Um, I'll probably leave here at 4 or 5. Um, but uh, yes, just taking it easy today. Maybe doing do a bit of editing. So yes, not much on the agenda today besides uh, just getting everything organized for Kalahari tomorrow. Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, I've just uh, left Lacker Slop um, campsite and uh, yes, finally on my way to Khalakhari. Uh, it's about 220 kilometers from here, so I'm gonna need to drive through Askam. Uh, it's a very, very small town. Um, but first things first, I need to fill up some diesel, um, get the jerry cans filled as well. So I'm gonna do this in Van Sales and yes, then I'm on my way to the Khalakhari. Um, didn't have a good night rest. The wind was howling this morning. Uh, so uh, yes, I uh, slept a little later than what I should have. But uh, anyways, like I said, Khalakhari, here I come. Can't wait. Uh, let's get there.
Okay, so there we go. I just checked in um, at reception here at Twere Fieren and uh, I'm staying here for one week. So the f tonight and tomorrow I'm staying at Twere Fieren camp and then at Mata Mata for one night and then Nosop for three nights. So yes, um, looking forward to it. I know it's going to be good. Never been here before as well. So it's a first for me, but I'm very excited. So let's get it going. Hallo, middag. Hallo. Zo. De waterkant van die? Twee of vier. Oké, okay, so I, I finished setting up camp and um, going for a drive right now. It is too hot, it is midday, it's just after one, but I'm just excited to be back um, and uh, to see some wildlife. So. Um, I'm taking my chances and I'll probably drive around for four or five hours until until it cools down um, Let's say here at 4 or 5 p.m Because um, then the sightings will be better as well, but like I said, I'm here to take my chances and um, Just to enjoy enjoy being out here. It's so beautiful um, So yes, let's see let's see what we can find just have to talk about that because that was amazing how special was that wow um, after about an hour and 40 minutes another male lion stood up I thought it was a it was a mating pair um, a male lion and a female and um, uh, to my surprise there were two male lions and a beautiful beautiful male lions um, because you couldn't see the other male lion when it was laying down um, you couldn't see its mane so uh, Yes, what an unbelievable treat. So another hour and 40 minutes, hour and 50 minutes of waiting. And uh, you know, patience is key. So it paid off, uh, unbelievable sighting to have two beautiful big male lions walking right behind, uh, right past you uh, and alongside you for about 10, 15 minutes, just, just trolling down the road. 
um, probably get it going to a water hole I am um, I guess but uh, that was very special so an unbelievable first day can't complain at all um, heading back to Twitter feed and campsite start a nice fire and wake up early tomorrow morning gates open at 5 30 so uh, yes that's uh, on the agenda tomorrow wake up early and get out there okay good morning uh, day two here in the Khalakhali and uh, left campsite so on my way out right now and uh, yes 5 30 in the morning it's a beautiful beautiful morning seems like it's going to be a, an awesome day so let's see if we can get lucky <laughs>
Okay, so there we go. Thank you for, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that episode. And uh, I just want to thank each and every one of you who, who enjoys this content and watches my video. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. And uh, I've also noticed that over 80% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So those are returning viewers. And uh, it would mean so much if you can subscribe to this channel. I'm not... Um, getting paid to do this I don't earn anything from it so I make these videos for you guys to enjoy and to 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 motivate you to get out there to uh, enjoy nature go camping go hiking go and go and enjoy wildlife uh, so yes I will appreciate that and then just quickly last thing I get daily messages from you guys on Instagram about photography tips or camping sites or um, roads to take to get there etc i'm sorry if i if i don't respond to each and every one but i will try my best i really do so for those of you uh, who want to find out more about uh, my trip or who want to to get in touch with me you are more than welcome to to send me a message on uh, instagram at go wildlife or go landscape and we can we can have a chat over there um, i also enjoy watching your photos some of you guys have sent me photos of your trips and and uh, I love watching uh, your stuff as well. So more than welcome. So yes, guys, this might be the last episode of the season. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to head down the West Coast uh, through the Karoo. Uh, I still might just. So uh, it might be a surprise episode. And then for next year, I'm planning on doing a series about remote camping spots in SA as well as non-commercial hikes. So hikes that no one has heard of. Um, or has little information about so so yes I just want to say thank you to each and one of you that subscribe to this channel uh, you guys make it worthwhile to make uh, make these videos and um, when I get a message saying that someone hasn't gone camping in a while and now they feel motivated to do so or get out and go on a hike and explore our beautiful country that was the whole goal of this series so I'm looking forward to next the next series and uh, I'll catch you then cheers Thank you.